Hope everybody's having a great day, great night, depending on where you're at in the world. Hope you guys are enjoying this year. Happy Valentine's for those that celebrate it, those that don't celebrate it. Happy day to you regardless. Hope you guys ain't letting these people tell y'all y'all not going to get y'all shit done in 2024, 2030, 2080. Tell them time is relative, bro. Y'all taking full advantage of this shit. And remember, man, the next time your boss hating, your co-worker hating, your new girlfriend hating, just tell them to like and subscribe, and I'm guaranteeing they'll feel better. Let's get straight to it. Mr. McMahon, Mr. McMahon, Vince McMahon, has been the exact same person as long as I remember. Vince McMahon has created a world where you can be a amplified version of yourself. Hence why the biggest stars in professional wrestling history is a mark of themselves in some form. In some light, it's them portraying this character. They're all characters, but there is some form of true self within these characters. It's just amplified. And Vince McMahon created a world where you can get away with unheard of things on screen because it's all entertainment. But, you know, what's going on with Mr. McMahon, a.k.a. Vince McMahon, same person. His This is not entertainment by any stretch. The accusations of S trafficking and SA and all these other things, man. This is a huge black eye to the professional wrestling world with a scandal like this. And there's always going to be scandals, but I hate when it's scandals like this because it sets a different tone in the room. It sets a different vibe. It sets a different outlook. You don't really look at people the same as a fan. And I can only imagine as a family or friend. So as a fan is one thing. You know, I don't know this man personally. I know what I've seen on the screen. I know what I've heard from other people. That's it. So when I first heard about this, all these scandals is going on with Vince McMahon. I'm going to be honestly, I mean, 100% blunt with you. I was seriously not that surprised it only was a shocker that the fact that my my professional my not professional but my love my favorite thing to watch my most inner my only thing i actually watch on tv at all professional wrestling has this type of scar on them right now but when i heard it was about vince mcmahon bro i just was not su that surprised i mean mr mcmahon Come on now, like I said, he's no he's the same dude. He get to display his true actual feelings on screen. I mean, the first thing that came up to mind when I first heard about these scandals, which is probably what anybody thought of, that anybody that ever was alive to see it or seen it before, was the Trish Stratus situation. He made her bark like a dog, stripped her clothes down, all this other stuff. Then, the second thing I thought of, is when the idea was pitched that Vince McMahon wanted to have a incest relationship storyline with his real life daughter on TV. Now, this is one thing I learned later that I did not know that he even pitched the idea that Shane McMahon and Stephanie be an incest couple, power couple on TV. And of course, you know, with the world he created, this wacky world of professional wrestling where there's no, pretty much no limits, anything can work. You would, you know, you swept under the rug as one of those insane, wild stories that's just like, okay, you know, that's, that's pretty much close to having a Nazi on TV. It's just, it just would not work. And, and the fact that they're real life family, it's just going to set a very disturbing tone. Thank God that did not happen because this would make this scandal even worse. But I can tell you where Vince Man still is a, 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 a genius, but a maniac at the same time. Uh, but I mean, maniac more on this situation. But I don't know if anybody remember during the 2007-6 era, uh, 
you had a wrestler by the name of Paul Burchill. Um, he came in. He wasn't nothing special or anything, but his idea was he had a manager. I think her name was Katie Burchill, but if her if that name wasn't it, I know her name was Winter. She was Winter in TNA after she left the WWE. So her, right? The idea for Paul Burchill and Winter was to be a incest couple. And this hence why Paul Burchill never did anything. Hence why, hence why he completely just disappeared off the map because I heard that that was supposed to be the idea of them two. So it just goes back to Vince McMahon pretty twisted, twisted mind on a lot of different things. Hell, Joey Styles said this in 2006, bro. This is 2006 years ago. Joey Styles on air says he makes out with the divas. He mocks God. He mocks God. He mocks God. He, you know what I'm saying? He he just, he was a, a wild man. Joey Styles said this years ago that Vince was a wild guy. So with all these pointing evidence before these scandals, you know, before this current scandal, all these things, and you can, you can sum it up as it was entertainment. It was on screen. It was all a work. Even if it was a work, didn't I just tell you that Vince McMahon created a world where you can get away with unspeakable things because you can sum it up as entertainment. And yes, you have a legal argument with that. But as I said before, this is a place where characters can be themselves, but you can amplify it. You can overdo it. You think Stone Cold is walking around just beating people's ass, stunning them and you know, cursing them out, throwing beers in their face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he really is a tough SOB. He, he's not no joke. Tell me a story where Stone Cold got bitched out. I'll wait. You see what I mean? It's him. It's just amplified. Now, Undertaker being a different case where he's completely kayfabe for so long, but the American badass is really him. So that's what I'm saying. The American badass version of Undertaker, that's way more of him in real life. Yeah, as a fan, it sucks. Because then it also um, involves Brock Lesnar and John Laurinaitis. People power! And um, it really sucks as a fan for Brock Lesnar. I I'm just hoping that this is a situation where Brock is you know i'm just hoping this man i don't know man i, I i'm trying not to be a mark you know because if you're guilty and you've really done these things you deserve the utmost highest form of justice served to you you deserve those lawsuits done to you if, if these men are guilty of these things but i'm not i'm not saying anybody's innocent or guilty until i see for the things myself you know and um but it sucks as a fan that Brock Lesnar might not have nothing to do with the WWE ever, ever again. That's just like, wow. I mean, that, that sucks really bad. But can you blame the WWE for removing Brock Lesnar for the time being? I can't. I would do the same thing. We don't need that type of heat on us. So until things are cleared up, we might not ever see Brock Lesnar ever again in the WWE. And that sucks as a fan. But as a as a person first, as a human being first, and if these people are guilty of all these things, well, they deserve everything that's coming to them. I'm not going to really dwell on this because it's not like any of us really know what's going on with, with this. There's still other stuff going on. There's still other things coming out as we speak. So I just had to take my take on it. I don't really like talking about these things. I didn't like I didn't like the Chris Jericho situation, but I have to say this scandal makes Jer Jericho situation looks like high school drama. So I'm just saying, I think somebody owes Jericho an apology because we have yet to see any possible text messages, witnesses, pattern of pattern of behavior from other people 
even describing Jericho to be this type of person. We have yet to hear anything like that. So I'm just saying that far as Chris Jericho goes. But yes, this sucks bad as a wrestling fan. It gives wrestling a black eye. But I think wrestling as a whole is going to survive it. Thank goodness Vince McMahon is not a part of the WWE anymore because, oh boy, this could possibly be bankruptcy. But it does affect them tremendously. This affects wrestling, period. He's a wrestling Skywalker. He is the reason why we see what wrestling is today. But like I told y'all earlier, man, if your car done broke down, you probably need to like and subscribe. If you didn't got fired from your job, you probably need to like and subscribe. Your girlfriend broke up with you on Valentine's, like and subscribe. And I guarantee you, your car going to work all of a sudden. That job going to call you back. And your girlfriend going to know, damn, I done fucked up. I need to go over there and do what exactly whatever they want, the fuck they want me to do. We out.